Hello, boys and girls. Today is the third day of the Great Escape, and we're in our second lesson. And uh, our word for today is problem. Well, the disciples probably thought they had a problem. But let me read this to you. It's found in Mark chapter 5, the first few verses I'm going to read. And they came over onto the other side of the sea, into the country of the Gadarenes. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit. That means he had a demon inside of him. And he was scary. Listen, listen again. Who had his dwelling among the tombs, and no man could bind him, no, not with chains, because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains, and the chains had been plucked asunder by him. He broke the chains that he was bound with. And the fetters broken in pieces, neither could any man tame him. And always, night and day, he was in the mountains, in the, in the tombs, crying and cutting himself with stones. And when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him. And so... This wild man who couldn't be bound with chains and he's always running around in the mountains and in the tombs, in the cemetery, and crying when Jesus and his disciples landed on the shore. This wild man came running up to him. And I imagine the disciples saw this as a problem. They recognized this is a wild man. He's, he's got a demon inside of him. But Jesus wasn't afraid. And Jesus started questioning the wild man. And the wild man said, Please, don't, don't persecute me. Don't send me away into the deep. And Jesus asked him what his name was. And the wild man, the demon speaking out of the wild man, said, his name was Legion because there were many demons inside this man, not just one. And so the demons inside the man asked if they could go into the herd of pigs that was nearby. And this was like 2,000 pigs over here that some Shepherds were watching, you know, farmers, whatever they call them when they're pig farmers, I guess. They were watching them. And Jesus said that the demons could go into the pigs. And so he told them, he commanded them to come out of the man and go into the pigs. And when they went into the pigs, the pigs stampeded and they ran off a cliff and they landed in the ocean and killed all the pigs. And so the pig farmers ran back into the town to tell the people what had happened. But in the meantime, the wild man, who is no longer wild, he sat down and he put clothes on and he sat down in front of Jesus and was 
in his right mind. He didn't have the demons anymore. And so the town people came out of the town and they were afraid of Jesus. And so they asked Jesus if he would leave their country. Well, the wild man, who's not wild anymore, this man who's now in his right mind, asked Jesus if he could go with them. And Jesus told him, no, you need to go back and show the town people that you are well and that you're no longer wild and tell them how this happened, how that I cast the demon out. And so that's what he did. And he proclaimed it near and far. And the next time we see Jesus coming to the Gadarenes, the people came out to him and, and wanted him in their village. They wanted him to heal their sick. And so Jesus turned the problem into something that was good, wasn't it? Tomorrow we're going to hear a little bit more about this. <laughs>